up, step right up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the greatest, well, second greatest show on earth. Boys and girls, it's my favorite time of the day. It's morning time. Morning time. Sun is rising. Morning time. Good morning, Lucy. Morning time. Morning time. Birds are singing. Morning time. Good morning, early bird. Bok, bok. Morning time, morning time, count your blessings, morning time. Good morning, Giuseppe. Morning time, morning time, bells are ringing, morning time. Good morning, Penelope. Morning time, morning time. How I love the morning time. Hi, boys and girls. My name is Calliope. My papa is the ringmaster with the traveling circus. I want to join that circus, and one day I will. But for now, I'm here in the circus's winter home in Calico Valley, and I'm practicing my skills as a clown. One day, when I get them just right, my papa will send for me, and he'll let me run the carnival sideshow with the circus. And with me here are some of my best friends. Some of them want to be in the sideshow, too. Good morning, Penelope. Good morning, Calliope. What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, I'm playing with my new friend. You are? Well, tell me about your friend. Calliope, I'd like for you to meet my new friend, Alistair. Uh, well, hello, Alistair. It's a pleasure to meet you. Alistair says his last name is Rodentia. That's an odd name. What kind of name is it? Well, I was reading about mice in one of my books last night, and it said all rodents are called Rodentia. And I thought Rodentia would be a good last name for my friend, Alistair. It looks like you're having a lot of fun, Penny. I'll leave you and Alistair to play together. Buongiorno, Calliope. I'm a little worried about a Penelope today. Well, why is that? It's a de mouse again. She's a talker to a de mouse like it's a real a person. Oh, silly bear. Penelope's just playing with one of her toys. You will know, listen. When a Penelope talker to a de mouse, she act like it to answer her back. Just a minute ago, she asked a Giuseppe to make a pot of a tea for the mouse. I know you're trying to get breakfast ready, Giuseppe. Don't worry about it. I'll talk to Penny. Hi, everyone. Calliope will be right back. And remember, be a star. Bright in the corner where you are. Boys and girls, I'd love to hear from you. Please write to me at Calliope, P.O. Box 1995, LaGrange, Georgia, 30241. And now, back to the caravan. Oh, hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. Penny, I need to talk to you for a minute. Sure, Calliope. Excuse me a minute, Alistair. What's on your mind? I was just talking with Giuseppe, and he said that you're pretending that your friend, Alistair, is real. He is real, Calliope. No, Penny. He's just a toy. Well, maybe that's all you see. But when nobody else is around, Alistair is five feet tall, and he drinks hot tea, and talks with a British accent. Oh, Penelope. 
Would you excuse me, Calliope? Alistair wants to have another cup of tea. Uh, sure, Penny. I really don't know what to do about this, boys and girls. <coughs> Mr. McCall is here with the mail. Well, good morning, Mr. McCall. And a great big good morning to you as well, Calliope. What did you bring me today? Just a wee package from your mail order school, Lassie. Nothing else in the post today. The mail order school doesn't always tell me what the course is about, but I'm sure this is one that we can use during storytelling time. I've been meaning to come visit you during one of your storytelling times, Calliope Lass. I can always let you have one of the tales of old Scotland, you know. Oh, I know, and I'd love to hear some of them sometime. Did you bring any pictures to share with us today, Mr. McCall? Aye, lass, if you've got a spare minute. I brought some shots of some good friends of mine. My friends, of course, are rodents, and you see here a mouse. Lots of people keep mice as pets, just like they do rats, and you see a rat right here. A lot of rodents make very good pets, like this guinea pig. Now, this one's very pretty. It's a relative of the mouse and rat. And, of course, the rodents you see are my good friends, because we have the same things always trying to catch us. What do you mean, Mr. McCall? Cats, lassie. They're always trying to catch rodents and us birds, but we're usually just too quick for them. Anyway, I must fly off. More mail to deliver. Ta-ta! Bye, Mr. McCall. Boys and girls, let's check this mail order course together. Ready to have some fun? Let's learn how to use our imaginations and tell stories. Now, to make up our own stories, we'll follow this formula. I'll say a sentence, leaving out a word or two, and you fill in the blank with the first thing that pops into your mind. Ready? Okay, the first one is, the blank jumped over the moon. Fill in the blank with a word. Um, the bear. The bear jumped over the moon. That's right. Right? How can that be right? Any answer is right in this course, you silly clown. Now, our next sentence. He swung the blank and hit a long home run for his team. The wheel. That's very good. You're getting the hang of it. Tell you what, you go make up a few more and practice them. And remember, imagination and storytelling are meant to be shared with your friends. Hmm, that's something for me to think about, boys and girls. We'll think more about it while you watch these messages. We'll be right back. Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Calliope. I wanted to ask you, which one of my friends here at the caravan is your favorite? Would you like to have a picture of that friend? If you would, tell your parents to send me an email at calliope.clown at yahoo.com and let me know which one you like the best. Ask your parent to put in your mailing address and I'll send you a picture of your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to hear from you. Hi, welcome back, boys and girls. Hey, Penny, are you still playing with your friend Alistair? Oh, yes, and I wanted to ask you if I could bring him to storytelling time today. Penny, you know that's not possible. Alistair isn't real. Yes, he is. He's real to me. Oh, tell you what, Penny. Let me think about it for a little while, okay? All right, Calliope. Hello, this is Calliope. <laughs> Mama, what a wonderful surprise! <laughs> oh yes, everything is fine here. <laughs> well, there is one thing I'm concerned about. <laughs> it's Penelope, Mama. She has a new friend. A five-foot-tall mouse that she's just made up. <laughs> I'm worried because she has such a vivid imagination and... <laughs> I did? Really, Mama? 
When I was little, I had an imaginary friend. <laughs> Who was my imaginary friend, Mama? <laughs> an elephant named Tiny. <laughs> oh no, did I? I used to pretend Tiny was in my pocket. <laughs> oh, I do remember. I loved little Tiny, didn't I? <laughs> I feel so silly. I'm going to go make things right with Penny, right now. Uh -huh. Is Papa feeling well? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell him I said to take care of himself. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I love you too, Mama. Goodbye. Good morning, Calliope. Good morning, Early Bird. What's wrong? Early Bird, can I ask you a question? Have you ever had a friend that wasn't really there? Of course I did. Everybody does, don't they? Tell me about your imaginary friend. He was a worm, a really, really big worm. His name was Clyde. A really big worm named Clyde? Wow. Well, what happened to Clyde? Once I started to grow up, Clyde became less and less important. And then one day, he just packed his suitcase and left. I never saw him again. Hmm. Maybe he's off traveling with Tiny. Tiny? Who's Tiny? It's an elephant I used to carry in my pocket. Thank you, Early Bird. You've really helped me. Oh, you're welcome, Calliope. Good morning, Happy Monkey. Good morning to you, Calliope. Why the long face? Well, I've been trying to talk to Penelope about her imaginary friend and and then Mama said that I had an imaginary friend when I was a little girl. I think maybe everybody has had an imaginary friend. Who is Penelope's imaginary friend? Believe it or not, it's a mouse. A mouse, you say? Yes, a mouse. A five-foot-tall mouse that drinks hot tea and speaks with a British accent. But only when nobody else is around, she says. Wow, I've heard of big mice before, but that one's scary, at least to a monkey. But it does remind me of a joke. I was hoping you'd say that, happy monkey. I could use a good laugh. What's your joke for today? Why did the banana pretend to be an orange? I don't know. Why did the banana pretend to be an orange? Because it was more appealing. Get it? Appealing? Ha ha ha! Oh, that was terrible, Happy Monkey. But you're always trying to cheer me up when I'm feeling down. Those jokes are wonderful. Who knows? Maybe my imaginary friend writes my jokes for me too. Anyway, if you would take these groceries to Giuseppe for me, I'd appreciate it. And I'll be on my way. Have a happy day filled with joy. You too, and thank you, Happy Monkey. I think I know what to do about Penelope and her friend, Alistair Rodicia. We'll find out about it when we come back from these messages. We'll be right back. Hi boys and girls, I'd love to hear from you. Please write to me at Calliope, P.O. Box 1995, LaGrange, Georgia, 30241. And now, back to the caravan. Oh, welcome back, boys and girls. Hi, Penny. Still playing with Alistair, I see. Oh, yes, we're having a great time. Penny, what else can you tell me about Alistair Rodentia? I'd really like to get to know him. Well, like I said, he's five feet tall and he's from England. He speaks with a very nice British accent and he loves drinking hot tea. I told him how you love hot tea too and he even wants to share a pot of tea with you one day. But why are you asking me about Alistair? I thought you didn't believe me. It doesn't matter if I believe you or not, Penny. It's okay to have an imaginary friend. It is? 
It sure is, Penny. But not only that. If you want to bring Alistair along to storytelling time later, you can. Oh, thank you, Calliope. I know he'll be very happy to hear that. He may be a mouse from England, but I'll bet he has some pretty tall tales to tell. Uh, <laughs> tall tales? That's pretty funny, Calliope. <laughs> How about that? I made a joke, and I wasn't even trying to. Was that your mama on the phone a little while ago? It sure was, and she reminded me of something I had forgotten when I was talking to you about Rodentia earlier. What was that? Well, it seems I had an imaginary friend when I was a little girl myself. You did? What was your friend like? My friend was an elephant that I kept in my pocket. You must have worn some pants with pretty big pockets in them back then. Oh, Penny. They were normal pants. I mean, the elephant wasn't named Tiny for nothing. You know, a five-foot-tall mouse makes more sense than an elephant that fits into your pocket. <laughs> You're right about that, Penny. To tell Alistair that he can come to storytelling time. Thank you, Calliope. That a Penelope. She need to get out a little more, I think. Well, you may be right, Giuseppe, but there's a little problem with that. What? The mouse won't let her to go outside? No, it's not that. She's afraid of the cat, remember? Oh, that's all right. I forgot about a won't go away. Well, you may have forgotten, but Penelope hasn't. <laughs> How that cat can sleep so long is a mystery to me. I'ma go back and finish up and make you breakfast, Calliope. It'll be ready soon. Well, I'll be around, Giuseppe, so just let me know. Bok Bok cackles like that, it's time for Calliope's Thought of the Day. Thank you, Bok Bok. And the Thought of the Day is... Imagination is a good thing and should be shared. Calliope, your breakfast is ready. It's breakfast time, but first we must feed our friends because they depend on us. Here you go, Lucy. And for you, Penelope. Here you go, Bok Bok. Hey, Mon, breakfast. My fresh milk is here. Good morning, Daisy. Tell me something, Daisy. When you were little, did you have an imaginary friend? You didn't need one. Why not? Oh, I see. They drink too much milk. Now that's just silly, Daisy. How could you have been someone's imaginary friend? You're incredible, Daisy. Thank you for my milk and have a great day. Penelope would tell me that you will say she can bring her bigger mouse a friend to storytelling a time. That's a nice, Calliope. Yes, Giuseppe. Penelope has such a great imagination. I think it would be a wonderful thing if she could share it. There's just a one -a thing that I gotta insist on, a Calliope. What's that? I'm a no make a pot of hot a tea just for a mouse that a nobody but a you good friend of the puppy can see. I wouldn't say she's the only one that has seen the mouse, Giuseppe. 
It's time to set the table, boys and girls. I like to sing the place setting song when I do this. Won't you sing along with us? Penelope is going to help us. Fork on the left. Fork on the left. Spoon on the right. Spoon on the right. Plate in the middle. Plate in the middle. Cup right here. Cup right here. Napkin in the lap. Napkin in the lap. When you set the table right, it makes meal time a delight. I'm so glad you came to visit me today, boys and girls. And next time you're passing through Calico Valley, stop in again and see me. And don't forget the lesson that we shared. Imagination is a good thing and should be shared. And remember, always do your best and never, never, ever give up. And I love you. Bye-bye.